Welcome back to Subnautica. Oh boy, do I have a treat for you. Let me just go ahead and make a mobile vehicle bay real quick because we're gonna need it and you're probably gonna be really, really happy if you've been around for longer than like two-ish years. I'm just gonna casually climb up on top of this, access the vehicle bay, and the Atlas submarine has finally been modded in to Subnautica. I'm gonna click this. My game's gonna freeze for about five minutes and then we're gonna be back with the actual Atlas in-game. A quick little note that's kind of interesting. See all the required resources? Well, apparently if you were to spawn all of that in the game, it would not all fit in your inventory. So you could not make this thing legitimately if you were trying to farm for it. The Atlas submarine is a top secret military prototype designed for Altera, specially designed for void exploration. This sub features near unlimited crush depth and is able to withstand even the most dangerous creature attacks. <laughs> that is sick. Okay, so <laughs> Oh my god. I I need to I need to spawn the Cyclops submarine in, and then you will have an idea of the scale. So on top of the Atlas being brought in to a different mod, we also have updates to the Gargantuan Le Oh my god, it's huge. Holy. We also have an update to the Gargantuan Leviathan, which is always exciting to see, and we will be checking that out, along with baby Gargantuan Leviathans. And something about an EMP attack I thought I read in the patch notes. Now, many of you probably know about the Atlas through my videos that I created years ago wanting to see this thing in the game world. Well, now it is actually in the world. Not much of an interior, but it is here as a model, a military combat submarine meant for void exploration and most likely taking on the Gargantuan Leviathan because the Cyclops kind of just doesn't do it, unfortunately. I'm not really sure how this thing is going to take on the uh, Gargantuan or anything because it doesn't seem like it has torpedo bays, but um, I guess we will find out unless this is a torpedo bay. I don't, I, it might be, I don't know. I think that's more of like a sonar thing. Look at the size of this damn submarine though. This is huge. It goes out of my render distance. And then that's the back of the Cyclops right there. And a fun fact about this, apparently in the past, this was actually conceptually created by Unknown Worlds Entertainment, the guys that made Subnautica. And it was deemed that that combat submarine was just too big for the game world. And I entirely agree with them. You're going to find out why, because I'm going to be having a really hard time getting around here in a moment when I try and drive this thing. Now, I do have some concerns that I want to voice about this submarine, but we're going to jump into that in a moment once ow, once I find a way to actually get inside. God, that is massive, though. It is such a huge submarine. Looks like there's a ladder on the side right here. Oh, we can walk on the top of it. Oh, my. Jeez, this thing is... Oh, whoa. I'm going inside of it. Um, obviously, it's going to be a buggy mod, too. Uh, uh, there we go. All right, let's go inside. System diagnostics complete. All systems online. Okay, then. System diagnostics happen. Wow, look. Look at that viewport. Holy. <laughs> that is... Wow, that is a hell of a view. Let me just change it back to day so it's uh, it's not getting dark on you. Go Whoa! You can even see down here, too. Oh, God. The submarine is so damn cool. Let me just run in through here. Look at the space you have in here. I can't imagine you can build in here yet. Oh, there's a sonar. I hear a sonar beep. Yeah, we definitely can't build in here. Wait. We can build in here. Whoa! Why can I build that? That's definitely gonna break everything if I if I leave that there. Oh! We can build stuff in here. Is this working as intended though? Like it's it's definitely through the ground, so it's it doesn't look like it's entirely right, but I can't put down the aquarium, but you can build basic stuff here. That is so cool. What's in here? A whole lot of nothing. Oh, I can't go I can't go past this door, I don't think. No, oh, it won't let me pass this door. There's an invisible barrier. That sonar is super loud too. Luckily for you, I can warp forward and, oh, okay, well, that's probably why we can't go back here because it's the actual end of the interior and then it brings you into the game world again. But you still have lo- oh, another, another stop. Uh, you still have loads of space back here too. I'm assuming this is where the engine would be housed. Yeah, this is where the engine would be housed. And obviously, yes, I am able to pilot this because this is created from Lee 23's framework using the, um, Sea Voyager, I believe. The code for that mod, if you're familiar with it, was basically just copy-pasted into this to create a environment where you can 
can have another submarine, this being the Atlas. Now, before we head off into the void with a combat submarine, I do want to, and I'm kind of curious to see how big this thing is too, compared to the Gargantuan Leviathan. I imagine it's still going to be tiny, but I do want to make some notes. Oh, there's an exit right there too. Sweet. Okay, that's really cool. That is that is really damn cool. So as cool as it is to see the Atlas submarine in game, I don't agree with the method that was used to put this in the game world. I spoke with the creator of this modification and they claim that this model is custom made and entirely paid for by them out of pocket. They had someone basically custom create this and then they claimed it was for $100, which I, I think that's a very low price to pay or such a massive submarine. Whoa, it has cargo bay doors. Oh, I did not expect that. Yeah, there's a cargo bay door right here. Oh, there's a whole section underneath it. I need to free cam into this too. Anyways, long story short, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this 3D model is stolen. I think that this is a model created by Tangai Oliveira. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. I say that because I've done comparisons of that submarine to this one, and they basically match to a T from the texturing to the actual model work to almost everything except the interior. I really do think that this submarine is a stolen asset, and if it's a stolen asset, I cannot support this in any way, shape, or form. As exciting as it might be to see this kind of submarine brought into Subnautica after years of wanting it, if it's not done in an ethical way it, it's pointless it is it's not fair to the original model creator but obviously a couple thousand people judging whether or not that to be true is better than just me so please if you have time after this video is done compare these models and let me know in the comment section what you think i will leave a link to tan guys down below in the description of this video come back after you check it out and let me know Either way, it's one of two things. The mod developer lied to me and they ripped the model themselves because it's very easy to rip a model off of Sketchfab. Or they were literally scammed out of $100 um, by some guy that claimed he could do the model work and just decided to rip it down from ArtStation, effectively stealing it from the original author. All right, so we can move forward. It, it has very basic movement. You can't really, you know, grab onto the steering wheel and control it like you could with the Cyclops, but at least this does move. Um, we don't really have any sense of direction or like where we're going. I don't think we can control the depth up either. I think we can just go forwards, backwards, right and left. And then the depth that we spawn at is basically the depth that we spawn this thing at manually or um, wherever we basically get it in the world. I don't exactly know. Whoa, why am I? I mean, this thing is, is absolutely massive. Oh, there's the uh, there's the Aurora right there. I need to completely turn around. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm turning super fast. It only has one speed too, unfortunately, but it looks like these actually stayed in the interior, which is really cool. I like that. And this is still here too. But again, we can't really increase the depth. So we're kind of seeing this water effect right here. Wait, can I? Yo! You are not powering down all non-essentials because we are still moving. You filthy liar. Okay, we need to try and avoid this. Now, see, like, I don't think we can even make it to the void easily using this submarine. It's just so damn big. I don't think we're going to be able to. I still need to go down there, too, and check out that lower interior. I'm going to do that now, actually. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of module right here. I'm not sure what this is for. Uh, and then, wow, this has a huge interior down below, too. I bet... You could probably do sea moths here. Like, you could probably do multiple sea moths available for uh, ejection through these. Because I think these line up. Yeah, they line up with that. Maybe those could be used to launch sea moths. And then we have this right here as well. There's another section. And then this all the way back here. It gets really blurry, which is kind of strange. But that's that. And then it all leads back into the engine bay. Where you would find, well, the main engine. The interior for this obviously is still a work in progress. The original interior that was planned for this by the creator of this model, I presume the creator of this model, uh, was very intricate and very well done. Um, they decided that they wanted to have navigational rooms in this place, uh, just a whole lot of aesthetics and very good aesthetic quality too of the model. Um, compared to this right now with the interior where it's kind of just plain Jane. And that's also what makes me think that this might have been ripped from the Sketchfab uh, art station, whatever, because they have that interior and, you know, they don't have an updated interior or they didn't change anything really with it. Some things are different, but not everything. And the exterior is basically a dead giveaway. But that's what was planned for the interior of the Atlas. It would have been much nicer to see that. 
we're gonna have to wait and see. All right, I'm gonna try and navigate this thing to the void, maybe meet a gargantuan leviathan with a new combat submarine, probably watch it chop this thing in half, and then we're gonna check out the updates for the gargantuan leviathan. If I can navigate this thing around every damn hazard, Oh god, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it, don't hit it. Oh, we're gonna crash! No, 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 no. Oh, okay, all right, we're good. Everything's fine, it's just going through us. We are in the void. It doesn't really look like you can see through this glass too easily, but, uh, I mean, it works for now. I also had an email, funny enough, and there was an update apparently for Subnautica, the base game. I don't think they actually cha- Whoa, I'm outside of the sub. Uh, I don't think they actually changed anything in the base game, but I had an email claiming they did something with the Ghost Leviathans. I don't think they did. Apparently, they're supposed to sound different, but again, I don't think they did anything with them. I'm gonna find out if there's any merit to that claim, obviously. I'm still outside the submarine. Don't know how to feel about this at all. Here we go. We are in the void. All right. Let's go ahead and stop right here. I heard the Gargantuan Leviathan. I don't know where it is, but it's around here somewhere. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh! Ooh. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to just... Oh, God, it's huge compared to the sub. The submarine's nothing. The submarine wouldn't stand a damn chance. Oh, Jesus. I'm never gonna be used to... Holy shit. Haha. <laughs> -ha. There you are. And that poor ghost leviathan is about to get it. Oh, better you than me. I get... Whoa, it disappeared. Whoa. Oh, that is cool. Look at that. It's like a racetrack. That is really cool. I'm not ready to die. Yo, it is wrapping around the sub. Oh my God. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, shit. Was that the Garg? Is that an attack it has? That was sick! I don't know if that was the Garg or... If that was just something else. Apparently it has some kind of EMP attack or something. Oh, it's messing- Oh, it's destroying that thing! Oh god, you poor guy. That's the Garg! Oh, that is totally the Garg. Yo, there it is right there! Oh, that is so damn cool! Yeah, that's totally the Garg. Okay, so it has that special attack. I don't think it's gonna do anything to this sub, though, because- Whoa! Whoa, big guy! Take it easy! No need to get hostile! <laughs> Tie yourself up into a knot. I'm gonna casually back the Atlas out of here now, and we're going to say goodbye to the Garg, because there's more we need to look at. Oh, it's killing the Ghost Leviathan still. A Cyclops Ion Booster Module. It overrides the flank setting. So I'm gonna go ahead and check that out, and apparently there's a new modular build system, too? Anything different with that? Whoa! Oh! Whoa, they added, like, Minecraft to the game! <laughs> An oxygen field generator. I'm assuming that's for if you box it in. It creates a, a field of oxygen, basically, so you don't need to worry about stuff. That is... Oh! Check that out! We can actually build architect structures now. Oh, that is so cool! It creates a, uh, a field inside here that you can walk in. You can have straight-up architect stuff. That is... That is so damn cool! I didn't expect this at all. I hope they really expand on this. They got a whole load of decorations, too, you can use from the architects, and some of the stuff actually has utility. Oh! There goes my Cyclops. Come back! Alright, and I will throw this upgrade in there. That's the Cyclops I- Whoa! Oh, that is sick! That completely changed the interior's lighting! Oh my god, it's an Ion sub now! That is- Holy shit! And if I take that off, the lighting goes back to normal. <gasps> that is so damn cool! I was not expecting that! Oh, it made it into a damn ion submarine! Oh, that is so damn cool! Oh, it changes all the lighting to green! Did it change the exterior too? No, the, in the interior is just the only thing that changed, I think. That is still damn cool. Let's start the engine. They need to make it so it sounds different when you use the, uh... When you use the ion engine instead. Alright, so this is flank speed. Whoa! 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 
Whoa! Dude! Whoa! 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 Whoa, where did that take us? Dude, that- that warps you! Oh my god, that is so sick! Check it out! Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, that's so weird! Oh, that's so cool! Oh shit! What did I hit? I'm guessing you should use ion power cells instead of the normal ones since this is so demanding on, you know, conventional systems. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, it uses 1% a second. Look at that, it's going down so fast. That's so sick. Oh, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Yo, I'm traveling so fast. That's crazy. It's overheating my sub hardcore. Where did that take us? We're on 7% power. Whoa, we, <laughs> we moved so far so fast. Holy crap, we were just by the Aurora. That is amazing. Spawn gargantuan baby. Oh, look at that little tyke. So apparently this guy had some AI changes. And just so you know, this little gargantuan baby, I don't know how to get it yet uh, in game. It's not normally ex- Oh, he's eating the little fish. I've never <gasps> seen something so adorable and yet so terrifying at the same time. Um, But this is a little guardian fish. Once you complete this mod, you actually get access to this. It's a pet that you get, I think. Uh, and this actually defends you. Like, it can mess things up pretty damn good. It's kind of cool to have it swimming around with you and protecting you. And it's one of the only, um, I guess, defensive creatures you can have as a pet, I'm pretty sure. Look at him. He's just jumping around everywhere. He's kind of broken, but that's fine. Let's see if I can play with him. I remember an animation I could do before. Come here. No, come here. Come here. Play with me. Oh, it's kind of cute. Come here. Oh, look at you. Just doing some weird animations. Do you just have the one animation? I think he just has the one animation. It's like a wet noodle. Oh, it twists the other way. <gasps> whoa, 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 little guy. Whoa, don't do that. That's not healthy. It eats peepers. It's just eating everything. What are you doing? Come here, play with me. Can I feed you? That'd be cool. Here. That oh, I can feed it. That is a terrifying bite for such a small creature, but I can feed it. That is cool. Hey, Jerry. Here's Jerry. Have some Jerry. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa. Here. Come here. Have another peeper. Do what you did before. That was weird. Wait, what? Did I break? Oh! Whoa! What is that? What is that? I, I knew it didn't bite me. What is that thing? The devs didn't even tell me, like, what that was. Every time I fed it two fish, it did that EMP weird thing. Have another one. Now will you do it? Oh, now he's following me around. Look at him go. Oh, you're cute. Oh, it's like a little sea puppy. Look at my little sea puppy. Oh, he's gone. Anyways, that is it for now on Subnautica and the mods I wanted to show you. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. As always, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. And give me your thoughts on the whole tan guy thing too, because I'm not, um... I'm not quite sure on it, but I'm like 99% sure. That's why it's in this video right now. There it goes. It's some kind of EMP blast. I don't know what that is. Okay, that's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.